Hey guys, it's Rugged Elf here. Um, here today, I want to show you I found another system in the Euclid Galaxy that is going to give you uh, S class upgrades for your freighter. So, I'm going to try to find out of the old ex the last expedition whether I can find an S class one there, and I'll give you some glyphs for that. But I'm going to put the glyphs up on the top of the screen here so you can be able to see what, um, where to get them if you want to. So, what I'm going to do is show you how I do it. Might make it a little easier for you, but you can go back to this place multiple times. So, what I want to do is I want to go into my suit and my emergency broadcast receiver and I want to tune my signal. So it's telling me that the uh, emergency broadcast is activated. So as soon as that disappears, I want to go in here and I want to place this into my personal refiner. So in order to do this, what you need to do, you need to have personal refiner and you want to have a couple uh, thermal protections for cold damage. I like two of them. You see that one needs to be charged. but. I like to have two of them. You can get away with one. Now, to me, it's just I don't have to fill them up as long as often. So I'm going to leave here in the space station, and then I'm going to start to warp. So I'm going to do my pulse drive, and it's going to start looking for this freighter. So it's going to come up. You're going to see emergency broadcast detected. You're going to hit that, and then here comes your freighter. Now this one's pretty easy. You get your S class upgrades. I'll show you some of the things that you can get from it. You just want to come into it and land. But you can get some stuff on here. But if you're just worried about the S class upgrades, and you can just hop out of your ship and you come down, run down here. You're in space, so you gotta you run a little bit slower than normal. You cannot jump. You don't want to jump anyway because you end up in the middle of nowhere and die. So, I'm going to open this first door up. The first thing you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to turn the heater on and reload my gun. And you turn the heater on. You get out of this little crate, you can claim your supplies. So, on these supplies, you're going to get a repair kit, buried dust, condensed carbon, and some sodium. You do it enough, you'll get a lot of supplies. But then you want to come over here, and you're going to get the docking bay door controls. You come over here, and it's going to tell you that MS Ironagawa is a severe incident, turtle lockdown, access denied, no crew life science detective, crew manifest, and Captain Long may assist in incident diagnosis. So you can get the logs if you like while you're in there. When I'm doing this, I'll basically I'm looking to get the upgrade parts myself, okay? So, cargo integrity is 95%, salvage and recovery likely. So, access doors have been automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart requires to begin recovery. So, it says restart internal gravity. So, calibration error. Warning, gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environment protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart. So you try to restart the hazard controls. And restart error. Unable to primary heat control. Protection against extreme cold temperatures required. That's why I told you you want to get those, um, pr those cold protections for you. Emergency fabrication unit available. Access supply cache. See and click your emergency supplies. And supply cache consumed. Additional supplies can be collected within the airlock. So manual control finalized. Begin door seal override procedure. So you unseal the door. Now, if you did not put your emergency broadcast beacon in your um, personal refiner, Right next to that unsealed door, it's going to tell you it's going to cost you an activation chip. And that's going to take that broadcast receiver away from you. So it sees that you 
you're able to get in, but it's not going to take that uh, chip away from you. So you hit on seal the doors, on life breach, seal inevitably compromised. So and it's going to tell you, it's going to give you some ammunition, it's going to give you three life support gels, and they're going to give you three ion batteries. So this one's actually pretty easy. So come in here to this room, so you want to jump down this ladder, and it tells you what you need to do here to locate the visor. You can look at all that stuff. So, I'll give you a simple little kind of walkthrough. There's a case over here, a case here. You can actually, if you hit your scanner button, it'll show you where all the cases are. There's another room over here, a couple lockers. You will see, okay, come over here, and you can read these little log snippets it'll give you a story about the freighter one of these will give you a, a security key which will get you to the captain's log and then you get the ship manifest and you can take them back to the space station in order to get um you can either trade them in for um tainted metal or you can get some standings in the space station so, but if you come through the door, the only thing I'm worried about are these upgrades. So you come through this door, you gather all that stuff you want, and you come down this ladder. So when you get down this ladder, I like getting on this side because everybody's on the other side. So, when you open this door, you'll see the little robot thingies, and you, sometimes you gotta shoot them. Sometimes you can just get away with running by them. So, so you got them, you can run by them, they'll try to shoot at you. They only pinch a little bit, but for the sake of all this here, you got a bunch of lockers in here, so we'll hit the things. All the purple things are little items that you can pick from. So your security thing is going to be in that other room, or this room, because here's your, or the ship log. But then you come through this door. And you hit your scanners recharging. So, but you got some booty here, booty there. There's your captain's log that you can pick it from with your little teleporter. You can turn on if you want. But there's another room that has some stuff in it. And another room there. Nothing really over there. You can depressurize these. They'll give you like the slime that you can refine in the nanites if you want them to and you'll see these little heaters along the way too as you're going see so you turn the heaters on and actually give you a chance to reset your um life support and your protection if you need to so once you get through this room nothing in there except for the overhead for the overhead turrets and they won't bother you unless you get in within that stream. So these guys got a couple of jellyfish here, so you can get rid of them. So you come in through here, and there's more lore if you want to read it. There's more booty inside of here. So, and we're in the engineer room already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the teleporter, because that's how I'm going to leave. So when I come in here, I'll go drop this in you know and I want to fabricate technology upgrade so international replicant extract complete and a compression complete deployable unit ready for collection and there you go so this one I have a salvage fleet mining unit which is S class so that's what I say then you come out here once you get that you come out here and then you can run out and get to your ship okay so this will take you back out to your ship. Now, before you get into your ship, you can sit here and, you know, stuff's not bad. I just lit it up. So it's pretty good. So you can upgrade, you know, re-up, put the ion batteries in your protection. Now, and you hop in your ship. So if you go in and look, you go to the other containers, you'll get all kind of stuff in here, okay? So, I'll take my repair kit, and I'm going to put that there. You see, I got a ton of repair kits. I've been 
actually going to a lot of galaxies. It took me a while to find the S-class ones. So, and then I'm going to take my fleet mining unit and I'm going to move it over here into my line with the, let me see, I got three, I only have an A-class exploration. There's my mining. So I got two pipe, two paper drives and two minings. But you can go in as many times as you like, pick up as many of this, right? So, but let me show you what you're going to do once you get out of the freighter, okay? And then I'll tell you how we can get, a, get away from some of this stuff. So when you get off the freighter, you want to pulse. You hit your pulse engine, and there's, you're going to get pirates. These are the ones that you have to go after. They're not going to come after you. So you can just ignore them if you want. Sometimes you can't get away from them, but sometimes you can. But I got my squadron, so I'm not worried about that. I don't have a problem with them. So you pulse a little bit. So you stop your pulse. So then you want to go in here to your exosuit. Go back in your refiner. And then you want to take this and put it back in your general category. So if you look at it, it's still saying it's still active. All right. So in order for you to use it again, which what I do anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse over to the space station. And I want to head over here to the space station because it'll reset that broadcast beacon. And then I'll be able to use it again. But this way, when I get to the station, I can get out of my ship and I'm able to, you know, I'll get a save. So if something was to happen to where, um, if something happens where, like, the pirates come around and somebody, if you get killed on the ship, if you get killed on the freighter, or if you get pirates kill you, or you get killed or something, you're not losing all your trips to the derelict freighters. This way you're able to come in here and um, have a save point. Because when you get on the for derelict freighters, it'll tell you, I'll show you, I want to run to do the run one more time just to show you how quick I can get through it. But when you get onto the derelict freighter, um, it will not, um, it tells you you can't save it while you're on a derelict. So I'll, cop, I'll hop out of here. So I got my restore point. So I got my save. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay. So you just hop back in here. Once you get in your ship, I like putting it off in here. That way I don't forget to put it away. So I set off my re set off the receiver. As soon as that disappears, I come over here. I'll drop that thing in the personal refiner and take off. So, let's go. I don't know if you go in different directions, if it does, gives you different things or whatever. I'm not sure. What you'll see at the bottom, it's looking for the channel. And it's going to pick up the channel, detect it. So, you get out of your pulse, and there's your derelict. So, I just want to say, you can do this stuff as many times as you want. Um, what I wanted to try to do was try to get as many different ones as I can, okay? So, I'm going to do another video very shortly to show you. Now, see, wait a minute, is there a warning, game not saved, board derelicts, okay? But I'm going to do another video shortly to where this is going to, um, I'm going to show you how you can use a uh, duplication glitch to the ones that you have. Um, the freighters are like your starship. So if you get an upgrade for your starship, right, turn on a heater, grab my supplies, and start this. So it says the same thing over and over and over again, so you don't have to read it. But start my gravity. My hazard control, and everything's restarted. I'll grab my supplies, it'll give me more bullets, it'll give me some oxygen and ion batteries, and I'll unseal my door. So, but I'll show you with this once 
you go in here and you get like a couple of the different things that you want to get, then you can okay, got your room, come down here, you make that left, come down in here, go up to the right side. If you don't wait too long, they don't sense you. So, and then you start running. I know, hello. They'll shoot at you. You might they might ding you a couple times, but if you zigzag a little bit, they'll miss you. So, open this next door. For some reason, you don't follow you through to the next room. So, if you can get through the room, you're okay. They're not going to follow you in here. You don't even turn around and look. Okay. They're not. They don't care about me. So, now, if you're going to go through and you're going to pillage everything, then you may want to... Um, you're going to have to kill some of them because they will come after you and attack you. So, and I turn on my teleporter and get my fabricate my technology. Fleet beacon. Okay. So I got my fleet beacon. So there's a bunch of these things you can get. You run back out to your ship. You see, I didn't even use one of my protections up completely. I don't even know if I filled it up from the last time. But I will fill it up now when I get in. So get on my ship and won't have to worry about it next time. So, I said, put my repair kit over here. So, this is my fleet beacon. And I'll put this over in my ship cargo. Do I have a fleet beacon already? Exploration tree. There it is, a fleet beacon. So I got two of them. So I mean, I could go back and forth, try to get. Um, that's what I was trying to say before. I'm gonna go back. You want to warp again? So you warped a little bit, and you top take it out of the binder and then pulse back to the space station but as I was saying your freighter is like your starship okay so you can have three on their general three in your technology right so you can have six of everything on these things okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video and show you see it's still active and I want to show you that okay so now I can go in here and do my skin you're gonna make me fight you hope I got a fight okay guys hang on a minute this won't take long Take care of the pilot. Yeah, fight me. Alright, are you done? Minimal damage. I can deal with that. Alright, so you got to see a pirate fight. So we'll head back to the space station. So next time I'm going to show you a glitch that you can do so you can pick up your um, You know, you can get six of all your stuff. It's not a hard thing to do. It's better to do if you have a base, but you can also do this glitch if you have, um, if you're just starting out in the game, too. You can dig get your terrain manipulator, dig your whole self down in a hole, and make a flat ground. You can set the, set your refiners up to do that. I'll show you shortly. So, come over here, and there we go. It's ready to tune again. What did you guys give me? You didn't give me nothing. Killed him and didn't give me nothing. Alright guys, so there it is. That's how you do it. You can get your S-Class. 
as I say, you'll see the glyphs. I'll put the glyphs up there for you. Um, actually, in case I forget my editing. There they are down at the bottom of the screen. So, <laughs> I shouldn't forget, so you should be okay. But, I will catch you all next time. You have a good one. And, check the next one out to see how you can fill your stuff up. Thanks.